All right, meanwhile, let's talk a little bit about this. A food stamp fraud in this country costs us $750 million a year. And the Scripps Howard newspaper did an investigation and they discovered that of 4,600 retailers that lost the ability to accept food stamps at their uh, places of uh, business, 1,500 continue to accept the food stamps even though it looks like they were doing it fraudulently. Well, Steve, to give you the numbers, and those are great numbers, there's about a quarter of a million places you can use your food stamp. Uh, a small group, 100 investigators, over time found these 4,600 that were clearly essentially defrauding the American people and in many cases depriving families of the food they should have because they were trading these food stamps for, for alcohol or cash to buy drugs. Worse than that, the Scripps Howard's organization, they didn't go do rocket science. They used open source. They compared two lists, the list of those who were getting it and the list of those uh, who were denied it. This is something that at a basic level government should do. It was government's own databases right. that they went to and discovered there was no enforcement under this administration. It's a no-brainer, Congressman. If, if the facility is proved to be uh, accepting them, after they were thrown off the list, you would think somebody in Washington would go, hmm, maybe they shouldn't be doing that. This is amazing because not only is it terrible fraud that a hundred investigators spent a lot of time proving so they could what we call debar these individual right. companies, but worse than that, remember, this is about food for families. So when people walk in with a hundred dollar right. food stamp and they trade it for alcohol or they trade it for cash to go use illicitly, children are being denied the food that we, the American people, put this program together for. It's about families, not about cash or alcohol for, for sure. individuals. So they didn't just defraud the government, they defrauded the families that you and I pay taxes to help. That's such a good way of putting it. All right, uh, Daryl Issa, Congressman from the great state of Colo uh, Colorado. California. California. <laughs> I knew it started with a C. Thank you, sir. Have a great uh, <laughs> Thanks, great Steve. Day. All right. Uh,